Chicago, with that whole first stop. We're not making a stop from New York until Chicago, that's our very first stop. So, obviously, it'll be probably a long time when we get to Chicago, so we gotta eat. We gotta go eat lunch, and then we gotta do the steel tower. The tower, the biggest tower in Chicago, with the flat floor on the bottom looking down. Oh, we gotta do that. Then we gotta go to Millennial Park to go see the giant bean. Yeah, the bean. The bean. You guys don't know what the bean is? Oh my god. Really? I haven't been there, but I know what the bean is. You die, you gotta do your promo. I right, have a picture right here. The giant bean. It looks like a mirror. You can do your makeup in it. That's how shiny it is. And then, obviously, it's gonna be. We're not gonna be heading on the road after that. That'd be too dark. So, we're gonna find somewhere to stay in the RV. First night in the RV. And then the next stop after that, we're going to Denver. We're driving all the way to Denver, Colorado. And when we get to Denver, we're going to the Museum of Nature and Science in Denver. Then we're going to uh, Lamar Well. Interesting. And then up there, we're going to get some breakfast at Talabelle? Talabelle. Am I saying that one? Talabelle. Yeah. Huh. If you thought you were from Tal Denver, and you know what I'm talking about. Am I saying that right? Whatever. And then, wait a minute. And then we're going to spend another night in Denver. So we spent one in Chicago, then we're going to spend one in Denver because we're doing all those things. You're not spending the night, you're not done it to be on the road. And then we're going to go to one of the best states in America. We're going to go to Utah. Um, before we go to St. Shore, we're going to be stopping at Moab, which is really like right in St. George. So, we're going to go to St. George, Utah, and we're going to go camping, well we already have an RV, so we're going to go camping at a national park, because Utah is filled with national park, and filled with hiking, so if you love the hike, go to Utah, and then we're going to just explore St. George, there, we're going to do some sand dune, on dirt bike, or four wheeling, because why not? We're out there anyway. We gotta do these things. We're gonna go to Moab, which is an awesome place that I can see with my eye. Um, and then, after that, we're gonna go do some hiking. Yeah, I said hiking, so you better bring some boots. We're gonna go to hiking. And then, of course, we got to do some photo shoot opportunity in Utah. That would be doing our photo shoot. Obviously, we're gonna be taking pictures in Denver and Chicago too, but we're gonna be actually doing a photo shoot in Utah. Stay tuned, guys. Stay tuned. All right, the next stop in after Utah, we're gonna spend like three days in Utah. The next stop we do is Las Vegas, guys. Well, what happened in Vegas stayed in Vegas, and here. We're only going to be here for a couple of hours, we're not going to spend the night or anything, we're just going to walk around, be touring with them for a couple of hours. So obviously we're going to grab something to eat, depending on what time we get there. We're going to walk the strip, Las Vegas Boulevard, because that's where everything is, it's literally Las Vegas Boulevard, you can see everything. Um, maybe do a helicopter, like a flyover. Grand Canyon from Las Vegas, that would be epic. So, stay tuned for that. And then we're gonna have some dinner, wherever in Vegas. And then we're gonna have the Watch the Water Show. Yes, you heard me. We're gonna be going to Watch the Water Show on Boulevard in Las Vegas. Um, main goal is that. And then, oh, I guess we are spending the night in the RV. Heh. <laughs> Wait, no we're not. No we're not. We're spending a night in the hotel. We're feeding ourselves right. And then, after the next morning, after we did breakfast, we are gonna be going to 
the main rotation with your Dan Diego. And we're gonna do just into our uh, resort. We're gonna do a uh, four door Jeep. And we're gonna unpack and start our uh, two weeks of fun in California. California! Oh, we, we got so much to do in California. The number one thing, well, after just many number one things. The first thing on my list is Navy Peel. We're gonna be hitting up Navy Peel. That's it, we're gonna be eating something at Island Prime. Then we're gonna be attending a bonfire at the beach. Why not? We're gonna be doing some night swim. Because we're on a resort, so you gotta take some night swim. Um, and then we're gonna be doing some beach fusion. Which is like, um, a bike went through. We're gonna be riding bikes along the beach. Then we're gonna have maybe a beach day where we're literally just on the beach all day getting a nice hand. And then we're gonna do a Deadway tour. Oh, I, I can't wait for this one. This is gonna be epic. Then we're gonna be eating at Cafe 222. Yeah. And then we're gonna do the Deep Port Village, which is like a shopping village. That'll be fun. Oh, oh, this is my favorite. We're gonna be heading on a harbor dinner cruise. We're gonna have a dinner on a boat. Oh yeah. And then we're gonna do a private photo shoot in California. The dope picture would be awesome. Can't wait to do that. Oh, and of course, we gotta hit up Yard House. We gotta go eat at Yard House. Oh, and then the next thing is we're gonna do indoor thigh diving. If you guys watched my other episode one, you thought that we went thigh diving in real life. Here we're gonna do indoor thigh diving. Yep. Then we're gonna go eat some um, Cafe Rio, which is kind of like a Mexican, kind of mixed with mold and Chipotle, but one spot. And it's only on the West Coast. Dad. <laughs> I want some Cafe Rio. And then we're gonna do another city highlight Deadway tour. But this one, instead of you actually driving the Deadway, you're just gonna, instead of driving the Deadway, you're gonna be the passenger, and you're gonna just take a tour of San Diego at night with all the light epic. And then, and then we're gonna do another nighttime swim at the resort when we get back. Then we're gonna do an all day left with bike ride along the toe of California. And then after that we're gonna be shutting into the B&B &B, which I told you about earlier in the video. In Central San Diego so it's not quite in the prime of San Diego. It's a little outside but it's a perfect location. Then we're gonna eat at Forchetta. Forchetta! We're gonna admire the city light at night from the B&B. &B. Maybe they want a little nighttime walk. We're gonna do and admire the light. Don't in the glory. And then the next, and then one of the day, we're gonna be driving an hour up north to Los Angeles and spending a day in Los Angeles. And in that day, we're gonna be eating at Johnny and Benny. We're gonna be doing hiking the Hollywood dine. We're gonna be doing the Hollywood Boulevard where the Hollywood song are on the sidewalk where you can find Michael Jackson song, Ellen and the Shadow song, you know, all these famous people. We're gonna be doing and walking that clip. Then we're gonna go shopping at the Grove, which is an outdoor mall. Outdoor mall is better than inside mall, in my opinion. Then we're gonna be eating at In N Out. Again, only a restaurant on the West Coast. <laughs> East Coast, you gotta step it up. Then we're gonna go to Side Space LA and Side Slidewise. Apparently there's a slide in LA where you can go on down. So we're gonna do that. Then we're gonna hit a aquarium and then we're gonna drive all the way back at night to the BMB in San Diego. <laughs> And then we get back to San Diego. We're not done yet. We're only about like maybe a week in. No worry. We're gonna do a Dotar GPI. Which is a guided city tour. That's white. We're gonna go to San Diego 
Way and Beach Toy. Stay tuned for that. We're gonna eat lunch or something at Chipotle every day. Why not? Chipotle is the bomb. Then we're gonna go to Sunset Schliff National Park. Obviously we're gonna go at night so we can see the sunset. Right? Then we're gonna explore the Museum of Art. Then the Museum of Man. I wonder what that's about. A Museum of Man. Hmm. Interesting. Then we're gonna go to USS Midway Museum. I wonder what that's about. Um, memorial. And then we're gonna go to our Dustin Boulder at In and Out. Yeah. The first one was too dirty. We gotta go back to uh, down and did our Dustin one. In and Out. Then we're gonna go to Tau Bello National Monument. Huh. That was interesting. Oh, the next one. Uh, we're gonna do Old Point Loma Lighthouse. That's why we are hitting a lighthouse when we're there. Then we're gonna do the Death Lamp Tortoise. Oh, man. This is like a fun time. Can't wait. It's gonna be an adventure for this adventure fam. Then we're going to Mar Marty Time Museum. Awesome. Tory Pine State Reserve. We're gonna go to another national park. Because why not? We're on the west coast, we gotta take advantage. Then we're gonna eat at Lala Shala Tobe. Interesting name. Interesting name, it, they gotta have some good food. That's my dad. If you have a name like that, you gotta just have the best. Crash that whole thing. Lala Shala Tobe is a place to watch the sunset. Wow, Thomas, really? You just can't talk? Then, after that, we're gonna go on a night dinner at Fantastic. What? They had good food, so that's why I put it down. And then we're gonna do Mission Bella San Diego del La... What? We're gonna go to a National Museum of History. Dude, who don't like a good history? I don't like history, but like, if I'm seeing something in person and not reading about it, then I'm all bored. Then we're gonna go to the Ocean Airway Seafood Room. Obviously you know what's there. Seafood, yum yum yum, my favorite. Then we're gonna explore the Reuben Fleet Science Center. We're gonna learn some science, people. Come on, it's only with her, science. And then we're gonna do a San Diego Murder Mystery Savender Hunt. <gasps> Who died? And then, depending on what order we did these things, that would be the last full day of in San Diego. The next morning we're gonna be driving to Arizona! That's why right. we're gonna be driving to Arizona and we're gonna be going to Leatherland. Oh wait, 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 wait. My bad. My bad. Before we leave California for Arizona, we're stopping at Leatherland and then we're gonna fly to Arizona and we're gonna go to a Grand Canyon camping ground. We turn, we got the RV bath, boy. We got the RV bath. Time for a great time in the RV again. And then uh, that'll be at night, so the next morning we will be hiking. Yes, that's right. We will be hiking the Grand Canyon. What? And then uh, that's pretty much gonna be the whole entire day. So we're gonna bath the RV and probably just fall asleep from all that hiking we did. And the next day, I didn't really say anything because we all might be sore from all that hiking. So that day is just a rest day. We're just gonna be chilling in the RV at the campground, relaxing, doing our leather work, maybe play some board games. Uh, that's what you do when you whack, right? And then, uh, after that, we are arriving to Dallas, Texas. Dallas, Texas. And at Dallas, Texas, we are, because I'm pretty sure we're gonna be sitting there around breakfast, lunch, so we're gonna be eating at Wick Grape Cafe. We're gonna go grab some grape, because who don't like grape? And then we're gonna be the shop at Highland Park for a while. And then we're gonna do North Park Center. And then we're gonna be hitting the road to New Orleans, Louisiana. And here we're gonna be walking 
the sweet of Mardi Gras. And now, of course, if you ever go to New Orleans, you have to eat seafood there. That's, that's what they're known for. They're known for their fresh seafood. So you got to eat some seafood. So that's what I said. We're gonna go to eat some seafood. And then after that, we're gonna be driving to Tuscaloosa, Alabama. And we're gonna be visiting the Alabama campus where the greatest football team in college history practice, play, and home stadium is return. So that's true. We gotta go report our team, mate. We gotta go see the campus of uh, my dream duel. Yeah, that's why. My dream duel. So, if anybody wants willing, dream duel, Alabama. That's my dream, Alabama. And then, before we leave Tuscaloosa, we, we're gonna be hitting up some Dreamland Barbecue. That's why we're eating barbecue in Tuscaloosa. And then after that, we'll be driving to Nashville, Tennessee, to where we're gonna be attending a Music World Happy Hour at Margaritaville, which majority of Friday afternoon that will take place if you listen to the highway at Theory Ham. Then we're gonna explore the Country Music Hall of Fame. We're gonna be walking Broadway, Broadway Street. We're gonna be sleeping in the RV because why not? We have an RV so what we shouldn't just sleep in there. And we're gonna have, uh, eat lunch at Tane Prime State House. Talk for the time, right? And then we're gonna be driving saying goodbye to Nashville and driving up to Ohio. Columbus, Ohio, my, should I say. And the only thing we're gonna be doing here is grabbing some food at the port. Wait, that sounds really weird. Just like that, we're, we're gonna be grabbing some food. And then we're leaving Ohio. Bye bye. And we're heading east to Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. To go see the Yellow Bridge. Yellow Bridge. And we're gonna be eating at Moat Barbecue. Oh yeah, most barbecue. We're gonna go up a dealer to see the city, to see the city view of Pittsburgh. And then I already said the next thing, driving over the Yellow Bridge and walking. We're gonna be walking over the Yellow Bridge. And then we're gonna spend the night in the RV. And then the next day we're gonna come home. <laughs> How sad. I didn't even want to leave California. <laughs> Our little wrap up of this is after this lovely vacation, I went to all these different cities, all these different locations, spent quality time in the places, the landmark, the national park, the doing hiking, spending the outdoors, getting that nice tan. Seeing the palm tree, you know, all those things. Seeing my potential home, maybe, if it's not in Florida. Because it would have, let me just tell you this. When I left California on this road, why am I, I haven't even went on yet. Fast it up, fast it up, fast it up. All the time, all the time, all the time. Fast it up, fast it up, fast it up. When I will be leaving California after this lovely vacation that I planned and this RV road trip across the t America, it's gonna be hard. Just like it is hard leaving any of my vacation I've been on. Because I, I love to travel and I just don't want any vacation to end. I just don't. I wish I could go from vacation to vacation to vacation to vacation to vacation. To vacation, you know, all that good stuff. And let me to tell you that I'm doing this theory for myself. I'm I'm gonna let you that in of what I have planned to start my travel around the world before I'm 50. And these are only a couple places that you will hear, but there's many places in this world that I'm not gonna be doing a video on. But just know. I will go there, at least one, to just shut it out. My goal is to go to all 50 states, that including Hawaii and Alaska, 
at least one. And then, my door is to go to every dinner place in the other country, Canada. I've been to Niagara Falls in Toronto, but there's many other places. There's Chubac, then Van Hoover. Uh, that's all I can think about in my top of my head. Then you go to Europe. There's many places in Europe. South America, Africa, Asia. Asia is the biggest country. You thought I thought America was the biggest. No, it's Asia. Asia is the biggest country. And you can see that. That's why everything you re own, they made in China. They literally can overpower this country. China could rule the world someday. Or should I say, they probably will in 15, 20 years. America won't be in yet. So, with that being said, you gotta floor the whole world, die. And especially nowadays, with global warming, climate change, you gotta get out there and floor. Because so many places, so many landmarks, so many historical sites to see with your own eyes. Won't he yet if you wait and just wait and wait to go. So if you say, oh, I'm gonna go in a year, I'm gonna go in two years, I'm gonna go in five years. If you if you don't keep the thing there and you wanna do these place if you wanna go to these places, like one greatest example is the Great Coral Reef, which is in Australia. That won't be around in 10 years. So if you want to do that, like myself, you literally have to start planning that trip now. Return. Global warming, climate change, all these things that are happening right now, it's causing places like the Great War Coral Reef to start evaporating and won't be there. It is true. I know I would have some fan who watched this part and just said, that's not true. But it is true. And it, you, we're seeing it right now. Just look, the last week, you know, the last week, they were placed in the mail to that that no, and they don't know that no. So we can we can see it. They're placed in the mail to that did know that have warmer weather. That's not ha it's it's real. We're in a stage of thing that we need to do all we can to save the planet, save these sites because they won't be around. And I know I'm not the only one who wanted to see all these sites. There are, I know there are many people who do. And by the time we all go to the TV, maybe only half of us did to see it because the other half go and it's not even there. So with that being said, this is a long story, but should I say this was a long video because we went from toe to toe. We practically almost did a whole road trip in America. We probably did like half. Um, and I just wanted to share this video because this is in the last video that you will he hear me talking about a vacation in America, the rest of them would be who know really. I'm not giving away any hint. Um, and so I wanted to I wanted to group it with America and America and all that stuff. You know, you know what I'm trying to do. So um, before I go, let me just tell you this: live every day fighting for what you want to do. So if you want to travel. Live every day, getting ready to travel. If you want to start a YouTube channel, start a YouTube channel. If you want to be to become Instagram famous, become Instagram famous. If you want to own your own business, start every day like you're owning your own business. You know all these things. Live your day being happy for yourself, finding your own magic, and making a moment out of it. That's all I gotta say. Find your magic. Find your moment. Live your moment. If you have a goal, if you have an ambition, follow through. Follow through because you will regret if you don't. You will regret. Live every day like you laugh from Timahua. And with that being said, we gotta do one thing. Before we depart way into the next video, you all know what we gotta do. We gotta do some. Oh!